This is experiment 11, pipe flow. The goal here is to learn about the head loss in pipes due to pipe length, valves, and fixtures. The specific assignment is to determine the friction factor for half inch steel pipe and the head loss coefficients for an elbow, a gate valve, and a globe valve by directly measuring the pressure drop. Now to start this lab, you want to turn on the Agilent 34972A data logger. Open the Excel spreadsheet titled Lab 11 Pipe Flow Agilent Version 1.1. Be sure to enable macros when you do this. To start off, we will record the no flow offset levels of the pressure transducers. To do this, highlight cell D13 in the Data tab. With no flow going through the pipe, press the Do One Scan Now button. The computer is going to read the pressure transducer offset voltages and place them into the spreadsheet. Now let's take a look at the hardware pipe flow circuit associated with this experiment. On the far left of the experiment, relative to the computer, we can see the pipe circuit. Now first we have the on-off valve at the wall, which allows water to flow in the pipe. Then there is a red flow control valve further up, which is shown here. You will be adjusting the flow rate by measuring the weight of water collected over a period of time in the barrel shown here. Now we are at the other end of the pipe flow circuit, near the computer and the data logger. Here at the end you can see there are two pressure transducers, one at the top and one at the bottom following the elbows so that the pressure drop can be measured. Then further down you can see a gate valve with pressure transducers on either side and then further down again we see a globe valve. Now we're going to start the flow of water. To do this, turn the on-off valve at the wall so flow is allowed into the pipe. Now we will want to adjust the flow to about 60 pounds per minute using the red valve labeled flow control valve. You'll want to turn this valve about three to four complete turns to get you into the proper range. Next, you'll want to close the drain valve so that the barrel starts collecting the water. When the scale beam rises, the scale is at the equilibrium position at that moment. Start your stopwatch. Then select the weight of water sample by shifting the slider along the scale beam. That increases the counterweight. When the platform scale again goes to equilibrium position, stop your watch. This should take about a minute. 